at the title, it's another tea haul! Yay! Yay! Um, I have to give a great big shout out to a couple of people um, on my, uh, on the, on Facebook through, um, uh, let's see, David's Tea fan page. Um, the first one, I definitely want to say thank you to is Lisa Marie for posting up the major sale of certain mugs that were on sale um, on um, the web page on our Facebook page and I got so like crazy about it I'm like I have to get these things so they're picked up and stored here right now since I got my package and um a couple of other people who've been following me um on my YouTube channel would be Amber Lemon and um Tessa Ko I'm sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong but um I thank you for watching my videos and always excited about seeing what I've got um in my hauls and stuff. So I would definitely want to give you guys a big, great, big shout out. Hi! And um, now onto the box. Um, so what happened was I posted a picture up on um, my Instagram and I posted up a picture on my personal web um, Facebook page and as well as the page for, it's a closed group for David Steel lovers. And I think I got more. Um, I got more compliments about my Kate Spade bag than the box um, that I originally wanted to post up, which is my David's Tea Hall box. And uh, I'll insert the picture right now. So with that further, without further ado, I can't talk today. It's the end of the day, and I can't talk. Ah. Okay. So with. Without further ado, sorry I'm crazy with my hair, um, the box is here. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Um, it's actually really heavy. Um, it says it's 2.2 kilograms, so my boyfriend said it was about 5 pounds. So lugging this on the subway was not fun. I would have brought, um, done it, had it shipped at home, but... I didn't want to just because um, no one would be home to pick it up for me. So I figured I would just leave it in the office and just grab it there. Okay, sorry for the texting of the wee wee. Okay, so I'm opening the box right now. It's just very, very heavy. Um, I already opened it, looked at it, got excited. So it's not a major, major surprise. But it'll be definitely a big surprise for you guys. <laughs> So the first thing that was in the box was definitely the tea menu and this is so beautiful. I'm debating if I'm going to keep this menu or not because I try not to hoard a lot of paper at home anymore so it's a little difficult for me to figure out what, what to do with it. But I'm going to keep it for now just because it has all the new stuff for the summer. <laughs> and um, the new teas that are out and then the original menus of all the teas that they have. So um, I love that this popsicle like so it's amazing. So the envelope of samples. Um, let's see. Boy, look, I have two pages. It tells you I have a lot of stuff. Um, some good stuff, some stuff that I wanted to try, and some nice things that were super on sale. So of course I had to pick them up. Um, I got a little sticker for one of my teas. I'm not gonna tell you which one I got. Not yet. But for the samples, I got Coco Charubos, Elderflower Spritz, and I also got Strawberry Rhubarb Parfait. I have so many of these. I actually have a big baggie of just all these little sample teas. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all of them because I don't even drink all of them. So... I might do a tea trade with some of my fellow David's Tea people. What do you guys think? Okay, so, oh, this is so heavy. I'm like so excited. Okay, this box has a little sticky thing with their logo on it, which I think is always like a good touch to any kind of packaging. Just says, oh, I packed it with love. You guys are gonna enjoy this. So, um, I. 
it's definitely good. I already opened it, so. Wa-bam. Okay. If you see how excited I am, that's because I'm excited because I want to show you guys what I got. And now I can make space on my desk. Um, okay. So the first tea I got is Honey I Do. I had to try this one. I think it was like honeydew in it or something. Let me check. Um, apples, white tea, pineapple, melon, um, mango. I hope it's not really fresh. I'm allergic to that. Rose petals, natural watermelon, watermelon flavoring. I guess a little bit's okay. So hopefully I'll be okay. If you'll see me in the next video, you know what happened. I drank mango stuff and it probably got me sick. Okay. So anyway, um, the next thing I got is two of these, so I got the tin for free. It's my white nectarine because I just love, love, love this tea. It's so yummy. I just can't stand not having it. This will probably, probably be my summer tea for hot or cold. Just so good. So I got a little sticker for it. And since it's new, it's actually really cool. I liked it. Since um, I think if you guys saw my previous haul video, I got it as um, a two free ounce since I had a lot of points. So yeah, I got that to try out and I loved it and I couldn't stand not having it. So I was like, I got to get this. So I got it. Okay, itchy eye, itchy eye, allergies. Does anyone else have allergies besides me? Oh, pain, the pain, the struggle of allergies. Anyway, I got Nepal Black, which is a black tea that um, with what happened in Nepal, major earthquakes that have been happening, um, David's Tea decided to, okay, let's do a donating thing where all proceeds for this tea that was named after, after the country um, would be donated to the Red Cross, I think, and then that money would be shipped over to help rebuild their country, which is the best thing ever. I felt like it was definitely good to do. And since um, I got something, I guess, and then something, even though I would probably have donated even if I didn't get anything, is this black tea. Um, so it has, let's see, there are good things brewing in the highlands of Nepal, like the handmade black tea from family-owned tea garden named Jung Chayabri. So I'm, it... It's a, apparently it says it's organic black tea from Nepal, so I guess it's kind of an honor in a way. So I'm gonna try this. Um, black tea is always good, and it has caffeine, so it's amazing. I need the caffeine. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, let's see what this is. I got the. I think this is the soda pop one, right? I think that's what it's called. Um, 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 soda shop stainless steel tumbler cherry soda style. It's so cute. Soda has the little lid. And I don't know about carrying it in my purse and leaving it there and having things drop like that. It's definitely good for a car ride, so that's why I bought it. This is for a car, like for my, for when I'm in my car and I want something to drink and it's just easier to like lift up, so. The little sifter, the stainless steel, and the lid, which is very flimsy to me because you could just pull it like that, so I'm not a big fan of that. Um, and it's just a little sippy thing, so it's definitely good. Alright, I have 18% left on my camera, so I'm hoping that I could finish this and could stop blabbing as much. Okay, so um, then David C had a promo thing. It was like spend, I think it was like $2,440. $2,440. So they had a day at the spa tea. So I picked up this, and they're just little metal tins that are so cute. I could just grab one of these, bring it with me to the office and then bring back the little um jar it's just a little way for me to kind of figure out if i like any of these teas and if i do and of course i'm gonna be buying more and these are just definitely good for even on the go traveling because they're so small you could just carry the tea with you instead of carrying little baggies of teas that look like your tea dealing in a way um I think most of you guys who, who are on the David's Tea thing know what I'm talking about. The whole little baggy thing, so. Yeah. And then the next one I got is um, David's Top 12. 
So these are the, I guess, some of the original ones. And then I think there's birthday cake in here. Yes, there is. This is so cute. I like these tips. Which is really cute to have around. And if I don't use them for, for tea, the plastic lids, um, then I'll use these for other things. And they're perfect for even putting um, my craft stuff in. So, yay. That's awesome. The next thing I got is this elder flower spritz. Um, uh, and yes, it's really cute and, um, I think I got the, I don't know if I did or did not yet. Oh, let me see. And yes, hon, I'm making a video. If you're watching this, yes, he texted me, so that's why. Okay, this is Elderflower Spritz. I'm trying to figure out what's it. It's white tea. Um, it has white tea. Satcha green tea, elderberries, elderflowers, peony petals, artificial elderflower flavoring. I'm always confused about the flavoring part. They say it's like something about it. It's good and bad. I don't know, but I figured it's a little small tin and it's just so cute and purple. Why not, right? So I got that. Then I got Serenity Now and I believe... I don't remember. I don't know which... Okay, this low key lavender... Um, serene strawberries and harmonious hibiscus. This oh so soothing blend is a one way ticket to your happy place. So I figured I'd try this one as well. So it's lavender, strawberries, blueberries, um, some kind of Q U I N C E cans, um, apple, rose hips, hibiscus, spearmint, currants, rose petals, natural strawberry flavoring. So why not try this out and just it's always good to try new teas especially for me all right this is a um this was a sale item on the website so i picked up this green and fruity rubos um it's real in the tropical flavoring of papaya apple mango peach blend with smooth drinking green rubos so let's see if you'll see me in my next video after drinking this it has mango in it too <laughs> So I already did, I think, half, I took half of it out and left it in the office. So I want to see how that goes um, and if I like it or not. And then I'll be in my, hopefully, um, part of my new series of, um, it's called Tea Tuesday, Tea Tuesday. Tea Time Tuesday with Amy. So hopefully I'll stick with that name. If it's too long, it's going to be Tea Time with Amy. So we'll see. Anyway, so I got the tin. And my camera just like wanted to die. Um, the Organic Silk Dragon Jasmine is my next one that I purchased. Oh, it's silk, so it's cool. Okay. Um, and then what else do I have? Um, okay, these are the super sale item so i got the big bubble teacup in pretty shell and i thought it'd be like one of those cool things to have because it's just so cute and i think it was on sale for it's 40 percent off so it was nine dollars so two for nine is like 450 each great deal just nice to have some nice summery like stuff and then i also purchased a bubble tea pot. I think this is 18 or less, maybe 15. I can't remember. I'll put the price down. Um, and these are all sale items. So sorry guys, if you couldn't get it, then you couldn't get it. So I was able to get it and I'm just so happy. How cute is this little teapot? And it has this little thing on it. You could use it for regular tea or this. So yay, I got a cute little teapot. Okay, what is this? Oh, I got these little bubble tea cups too. It's a set of two. And after 40% off, it's $4.50 for two, which was, oh my god, steal of a deal. These are so good for guests who love tea. Look how cute these are. They have little birds on it. Oh my goodness. There's two. Another set of two. Okay, last but not least, I have the perfect tea mug. And it's, I think, the winter edition. So this one's cute too. So it has a little cute little lid. I'm saying cute a lot because I just think it's awesome. Alright, let's see if I could get this out. And the cup inside is 
blue. And on the outside, just little cute little wintry trees. So, yay! All right, so that's it for my tea haul. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how much I spent because I don't think I remember. I think it was about like 170 for all this stuff. Um, I'm... I'm probably going to be gifting some to my mama for Mother's Day. And yeah, that's pretty much, that's actually everything that I got from David's Tea this time. So there's 16 items in here and yeah, that's it. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and hope you're enjoying the rest of your day. Bye.